welcome. Today I have May Flom, and she's here to show us some really great features about Scan and Cut with the built-in functions and how to create everyday decor for your everyday needs. Welcome, May. Hi, Liz. It's great to be here. And you know what? Things get busy, especially you know when you're trying to do home decor stuff and. These things, you know, maybe they don't last very long up on your wall and you want things that'll be really beautiful and really interesting, but that don't cost a lot of money and that you can do yourself. And what I found, what I love about the Scan and Cut is that you can put all different textures from glittered paper to mulberry papers. There's all different papers right. that I have just have in my scrapbooking stash that I can use and put together to make myself my own little wreath and quickly because the Scan and Cut does all the hard work for me. This paper is super impressive. And let me take this one out and we can see what we just cut. But this has kind of an embossed texture to it. It does. Where it, I mean, it is, I can imagine this being really difficult to cut. And you know, it is, and a lot of these papers, like this one and my glitter papers, they don't cut in a lot of the traditional punches. And so, this has been really great because it's allowing me to create a project that normally I wouldn't be able to or I would have to hand cut and that would take a lot of time. So if you'd like, I'll show you how you can do this. That would be great. And, right? and it doesn't take much time either. Here I have one. It's, this is just a plain straw wreath. You could use, uh, they have different foam ones or there's different materials that you can find at any craft store. And I've just cut a whole bunch of different leaves and flowers. And you could do this in absolutely any color for any season or theme. And I get them all cut out. And I do use a lot of these shapes for my scrapbook pages. So I will save some of these and have some for my scrapbook pages. And then of course have some to make some decor. And you just use a pin that and I think, I'm sorry, I don't really oh, cut you off. No, but that's absolutely. the most impressive part is that you just It's just pin use it. a pin. And my whole thing with the pin is I don't like waste. I don't like to have to throw things away. So if, for example, our fall wreath, if I'm going to make a fall wreath and it's going to sit on my wall for two months, well, at the end of that two months, this is not a project that I would necessarily have storage for for the whole year. If I just take all of the pins out, and separate out the pieces, I can now use all these pieces on a paper crafting project or store them in that way. So all you have to do with the pin is to just press it in. So essentially all you do is cut out your shapes for the exactly. season and, and put then, them in a baggie. And whatever colors you'd like and then you can just layer and tuck them under. Here you can see I've got some snowflakes that I've cut. And you can see this is an intricate cut and this is a very thick glitter paper that is not easy to cut, but the machine does it beautifully. So that's impressive. Now I, I have a whole assortment. Well, thank you, May, for joining us. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed what May shared here, this year round celebration of uh, scan and cut features within your crafting project.